Pemirsa bioenergi kian menjadi perhatian dunia di tengah kampanye global mengatasi perubahan iklim. Indonesia yang memiliki potensi sangat besar dalam pengembangan dan pemasaran bioenergi. Salah satu potensi pasar yang perlu dimaksimalkan adalah Jepang. Bagaimana potensi dan peluang pasar bioenergi itu bisa dimaksimalkan? Simak wawancara khusus rekan kami Patricia Mapalie dengan Profesor Entrepreneurship dari Kobe University Jepang Hirayuki Ozaki berikut ini. Halo pemirsa NTV, kembali lagi bersama saya Patricia Mapalie dalam program NTV Interview. Indonesia memiliki potensi biomasa yang sangat besar. Bagaimana potensinya untuk masuk ke pasar Jepang? Kita akan membahasnya bersama dengan Profesor Hiroyuki Ozaki, Profesor Pasca Sarjana Graduate School of Science, Technology and Innovation di Universitas Kobe Jepang. Profesor Ozaki adalah expert di bidang bioenergi, kemudian di bidang entrepreneurship atau kewirausahaan, startup management dan juga open innovation. Kita akan langsung berbincang sudah hadir di studio Profesor Hiroyuki Ozaki. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure Thank to you. have you in our studio. And, uh, How yeah. are you? Well, fine, fine. You know, I think uh, Jakarta is cooler than Tokyo. Oh. Tokyo is quite hot right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long have you been in Jakarta? Well, just three days. Three yes. days. Yes. Yeah. Okay, three days. So, uh, what do you see uh, Jakarta as well? Well, you know, I'm very surprised that uh, the city is so highly developed, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, people are very energetic. I think uh, this is very good for, you know, growing economy. Mm -hmm. I think. Is this your first time in Jakarta? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So welcome. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to Jakarta. Welcome to Indonesia. Welcome to yeah. our office. Welcome to Thank you. Tower. Thank you. Welcome to MTP. So, sir, uh, first of all, I want you to, maybe the viewers and the audience want to know you more, maybe your background. We already know that you have specialty in many fields, mm -hmm. including entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. including startup management, and also open innovation. So mm -hmm. can you tell us more about it? Okay. Well, I used to work for investment banking industry for, for about 17 years. After that, I became a faculty of universities, and my research area is at technology commercialization. You know, well, university researchers uh, made a research on science and technology, such as biotech, information technology, and energy, um, chemical, and so on. Mm -hmm. Well, they have a good potential to change a sci uh, society. However, they cannot make money in the university. So therefore, you need a startup to make a technology and science commercialized. And that process is very, very, you know, um, important for innovation. That's my, you know, research theme for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had made uh, research on Japanese uh, universities and that means university spin-off um, become a startup companies and collaboration with big enterprise, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. yeah. But what led you to deepen this, this field? I'm sorry, what? What led you mm -hmm. deepen this field? You have expertise on mm -hmm. open innovation, you have expertise on entrepreneurial and mm -hmm. also startup management. You're also talking about renewable energy. So what led you to deepen this, this kind of field? Uh, okay. Well, I think, uh, you know, um, that science, um, is a source of innovation and um, make our society uh, better. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think uh, it's, uh, you know, there are many dreams uh, come from the research on that kind of things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so as we already know your background and why that you deepen this kind of fields, many fields, I would say. So we believe that you're also passionate about renewable energy issues. Yeah. So I want to ask about what is your view about the bioenergy mm -hmm. nowadays mm -hmm. and how to describe the opportunity for not only for Japan, but also for Indonesia in order to explore this business? Yes, yes. Thank you for the good questions. You know, um, as you know, Bioenergy is a useful tool to reduce the emission of CO2. And 
Well, um, Japan industry has paid uh, strong in, um, um, interest in uh, by how to make bioenergy. Um, but problem, we, Japan, don't have enough, enough natural source of biomass. Oh, okay. Japan uh, is not so big as to make a big forest, like a tropical forest in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, uh, thinking about the uh, uh, natural source of biomass, Indonesia and Brazil are two big providers of biomass. Mm -hmm. One is sugarcane, and you have a big uh, uh, forest. Um, well, another reason why biomass is important for us now is, uh, you know, aviation industry. You know, aviation is, as you know, avi aviation airplane uh, fly by using um, oil or diesel. Mm -hmm. Aviation country have to use some bioenergy um, mixing to a um, petroleum-based uh, diesel. Otherwise, uh, they, they're not going to get permission to fly to EU and EU, Europe. Yes. Well, uh, that's a problem for aviation country, uh, companies in Japan and also US or other countries. And, well, I think, uh, you know, in that sense, there should be good collaboration opportunity between Japan and Indonesia mm -hmm. to develop jointly um, um, biomass for aviation industries. The, you know, the key point is how to make mass production of the fuel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not only Japan can make a mass production, you know, problem is quantity. Quantity. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But, but uh, on the other hand, it's a great opportunity, not only for Japan, but also for Indonesia, mm -hmm. both countries. Do you think so? Yes. Of course. Yes. Well, well actually, uh, there have been some business uh, like this between Japan and Indonesia. The issue is, you know, everything is very small size mm -hmm. still. Well, as I said, mass production is very important. That means uh, collaboration should be uh, made by in a high level. Mm -hmm. High level means uh, technology improvement. Mm -hmm at a field are also necessary. Mm -hmm. So it should be supported by the technology improvement as well? Yes. Okay. Technology so, and political support. Or political so support and so on. Okay. So many things. Sir, uh, biomass, of course, is so important as part of renewable energy. Right. So how it can be utilized for the country's economic growth? Well, okay. Well, you say, all right, if you make a big industry in Indonesia or biomass, uh, you can hire many people and you can get a um, you know, bunch of investment from outside of countries. Okay, well, actually many Japanese companies eager to make investment in Indonesia in the same. That's a you know, um, merit for Indonesian industries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and last one, what message we are talking about renewable energy, and we, we are not talking about renewable energy, but we are also talking about the startup management that you are expert is on, uh, about uh, the open innovation and the entrepreneurial. So mm -hmm. what message would you like to leave in, with our studio today in, mm -hmm. in, in this time, this moment, about the future of entrepreneurship, of open innovation, of startup management, and also the renewable energy? Okay, well, um, uh, first of all, over last week, I made a couple of lectures at Barawija University in Maran, and I was impressed by students because, uh, you know, they speak good English and also uh, interested in what's going on outside of Indonesia, especially in Japan. And that good thing that people of young generation are paying attention to, uh, you know, innovation opportunities inside of Indonesia and outside of the country, I think uh, that's um, really necessary 
to make a, you know, to get a bright future in this country. Mm -hmm. And other one is, uh, I think, uh, relationship between Indonesia and Japan has been very in a good shape for many years. And well, I like people here and also uh, people in Japan um, think about that um, again. That make uh, we're gonna talk about about that. How to make a new future about uh, between two countries? I think. Uh, that's a you know, couple of messages okay. at okay. the studio. Sir, allow me to ask one more question. One okay. last question. So uh, talking about the renewable energy and also the, the, the fields that you are expert is on, uh, what challenges that we are facing today or maybe we will facing tomorrow and in the future, of course, not only for Japan, but also for Indonesia and around the world. Mm -hmm. So what challenges and how to solve it? Okay. I think the most important um, you know, solution is people. I mean, uh, talented people. Okay, education is very important. Education means, uh, you know, at, okay, university or high school or junior high school. And on the other hand, at the uh, enterprise and entrepreneurship. Well, people who work for uh, enterprise or uh, SMEs or uh, startups, um, they're going to make a good experience, and also uh, companies should more seriously think about how to educate those people. People is a key to make a good future, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the key is how to manage the people mm -hmm. and how to improve and the educate. facility, of right. course, and to educate people right. in order to, to achieve or to face the challenges that we might mm -hmm. uh, face today or maybe in the future or maybe tomorrow, maybe in the, in the short amount of time. Professor Hiroyuki Ozaki, thank you very much for your time in studio and TV. We would like to see you on the next moment. So yeah. thank you very much.